hello there welcome to realm talk and today i tried something new as you can see the title i'm going to give a review on one of my favorite movie a silent voice so without wasting any time let's get into it At first glance, a silent voice may appear to be an elaborate warning about the destructive effects of bullying, but labeling it as such simply wouldn't do the film justice. A silent voice realistically portrays the horrible consequences of bullying and uses it as the foundation for an emotional coming of age story about a teenager's battle with depression and his quest for redemption. This film was directed by Naoko Yamada and I have to say she did a spectacular job touching on not only bullying but social anxiety, depression and suicide in this film. These are all issues things that teenagers struggle with daily life and to have them presented so accurately in a Japanese animation was a sight to see. It starts with a group of kids in 6th grade they are quickly introduced to a new student named Nishiyama Shoko who just so happens to be deaf since she can't communicate normally and since the students don't use sign language she asks that they communicate with her via a notepad she owns surely enough the students take it upon themselves to give Nishiyama a tough time the main one who partakes in the bullying of Nishiyama is our protagonist, Ishida Shoya. Day in and day out, Ishida picks on Nishiyama and his other classmates back him up and do it too. Of course, one day Ishida goes too far with his bullying and it leads to him having a tough time in his older years and ultimately trying to change his ways and make amends for everything he did as a kid while still having to deal with the day-to-day -day things that most teens deal with. Filled with loneliness and self-resentment, Ishida slips into a severe state of depression that is expertly teased in the flash-forward that opens the film. In an effort to escape the pit of despair that traps him, a high school-aged Ishida sets out to make amends, which serves as the narrative springboard for the story of redemption. There are a lot of supporting characters that we meet when Ishida is a 6th grader that we meet again once when the film has a time skip that takes us to his high school years. Each of these characters has their own internal struggle that has followed them from childhood to adolescence. However, a romantic element is present. It serves to complement rather than overshadow Ishida's pursuit of the true meaning of friendship, which according to Ishida's bushy head classmate, Tomohiro Nagatsuka, lies somewhere beyond things like words and logic. Likewise, the expanded view into Ishida's home life as well as that of Nishimiya's provides additional context for understanding the mental state of both Ishida and Nishiyama, thereby heightening the emotional impact of their actions both past and present and the ripple effect it has on those closest to them. One particular scene during which Ishida's mom confronts him about his dire psychological state is extremely effective in hammering home the wide-reaching impact of depression, however insular it may seem to the person crippled by its effects. Ishida's stark 180 degree turn from being an ignorant, self-absorbed bully to an emotionally bankrupt teenager humbled by a desperate desire to atone for the sins of his elementary school days, is entirely believable thanks to the brilliant pacing and expertly woven narrative threads that create an emotional coherency to the progression of this character. 
as someone whose childhood friendships were built in service of self gratification ishida's road to establishing genuine friendship is a cathartic journey that nearly everyone will be able to relate to in some capacity the film's brilliant pacing and expertly woven narrative deliver an empowering story that will stick with you long after the credits roll the beautiful backgrounds well realized characters and stunning animation go a long way in elevating the film's emotional impact making for one of the most touching and powerful movies i have seen